Hello Virgo, Summon Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Virgo, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this can either currently be happening or may be happening at a later date. How does Virgo currently view this relationship? So Virgo, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands and then we also have the Ace of cups so far so good so virgo in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship i feel like you've captured somebody's complete and undivided attention without even realizing it without even trying it's like the best way that i can describe what it is that i'm seeing here now i'm not entirely sure virgo virgo if you know who this person is or not but I don't know, dude. I feel like there's somebody here. There's somebody here who's clearly interested in you. There's somebody here who feels really drawn to you and your overall energy. Like I said, dude, I feel like you've completely captured, you know, this person. Um, yeah, I feel like you have, like, completely captured this person's complete and undivided attention. Without even trying. But also, I almost want to say without even realizing it. Without even realizing it. All right, let's look a little bit more into this person, shall we? How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the uh, Queen of Wands. We got the Page of Swords. And then we also have the uh, Star out here. So this person looks at you like you're a Queen of Wands slash Queen of Pentacles. This is my favorite combo of all time, by the way. Not only do they view you as somebody who's very, very attractive, they also view you as somebody who's very career-oriented, um, somebody who has, a lot, who has a lot going for themselves. So this person, for the most part, they, they definitely view you in a very, very beautiful lighting. They do. They definitely do. It's just, it's, it's, how do I say this? It's just kind of hard to tell. You know what I mean? If you know who this person is or not. Like, it's pretty evident to me that they know who you are. It's just kind of hard to tell if you know who they are. But whoever this person is, whoever this person is, Virgo, they might be an Aquarius, they might be a Gemini, they might be an Aries. I mean, regardless of this person's actual zodiac sign, right? Um, whoever this person is, they're about to make their presence known in your life. They're about to make their presence known in your life, which is kind of making me feel. Which is kind of making me feel like they know you but you don't know them you know what i mean so i don't know dude like maybe the, maybe this is like the guy right that like you know sits in like the cubicle you know five rows down from you you know and you know that's a possibility right maybe it is that guy that works like five or i'm sorry that sits five cubicles down from you at work um and you just never noticed them before um you've just never spoken to them before but i just i don't know dude i just kind of feel like there's there, there's somebody here that's about to make their presence known in your life and like i said whoever this person is it's somebody who's very, very into you. It's somebody who's very, very into you. All right. How does Virgo currently feel? Okay. So we have the um, Six of Cups. We also have the Three of Pentacles. And then we also have the Seven of Wands. All right. Virgo, whoever this person is... Now that I have the three of pentacles and the six of cups out here, whoever this person is, there is a huge possibility that you may already know who this person is. There's, yeah, there's a huge possibility that you may already know who this person is. For others of you where you don't necessarily know who this person actually is, there is an overall energy, Virgo. <clears throat> of the two of you building a relationship here with one another. There's also like an overall energy um, of you feeling really good about this person um, and you know how things are unfolding here between you and them. But there's also like an overall energy of like, how do I say this, resistance uh, coming from you. And I'm kind of curious as to why. 
Because it kind of looks like when you do meet this person, you're going to instantly hit it off with this person. It kind of looks like when you do meet this person, if you haven't met this person already, you're going to find yourself having a lot of things in common with this person. You're going to find yourself meshing very well with this person. But, man, that seven of wands, that feels like nothing but resistance uh, coming from you. Tell me more about the seven of wands. We have the Temperance card. We got the Ace of Pentacles. And then we also have the Knight of Cups. The bottom of the deck, we do have the um, Queen of Wands. We also have the Four of Wands. And then we also have the Eight of Cups. I see. I see. Virgo, I kind of feel like the main reason why there's a level of resistance coming from you has a lot to do with... Um, it has a lot to do with the simple fact that love just wasn't a part of your plan. Building towards a relationship with someone was just simply not a part of your plan, okay? It just kind of looks like um, prior, right, to you meeting this person, you kind of had like, you kind of had like this plan, right, of how you wanted to live your life and what you wanted to focus on and what you didn't necessarily want to focus on or even prioritize and i kind of feel like the fact that love is showing up here for you um it is kind of throwing you off because again it just wasn't a part of your plan like i just kind of feel like you had like this plan to just focus on you your finances your career your growth your expansion like this plan that you had for yourself it did not include love it just did not include love it just did not um include love it just didn't and i kind of feel like that's why there's like a lot of resistance virgo coming from you and it's it's just mainly because it just wasn't a part of your plan like this is not something that you were expecting to show up this is not something that you were expecting to focus on or even prioritize but with the knight of cups of the east of pentacles the temperance card coming out here i feel like you're being divinely guided virgo to Continue to proceed forward in this connection. I feel like you're being divinely guided to embrace this opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. But see, I could tell, man, that that's just not something that you want to do. That's just not something that you want to do. Yeah, that's just not something that you want to do. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, you do strike me as somebody who would love, you know, to be in a relationship one day, get married one day. But I just kind of feel like there's certain things that you wanted to, like, accomplish and achieve first before you dedicated and devoted your time towards building, you know, towards a life with someone. Um, yeah. Okay. It just kind of looks like this opportunity is showing up here for you. A lot sooner than you wanted you know what I mean like I feel like you wanted love to show up for you but you just didn't want it to happen like right the second you know what I mean because you're not ready and on top of that it just wasn't a part of your plan but I feel like the universe has a better plan than you do yeah I feel like the universe has a way better plan than you do Virgo I do it's just a matter of trusting that you know what i mean but you're just like yeah no milagros i just don't because i just listen i gotta focus on this i gotta focus on that i'm trying to accomplish this i'm trying to accomplish that i don't have time for love i don't have time for a relationship i don't have time for this um guess we'll see what you decide to do but like i said you are being divinely guided to embrace this opportunity how does this person currently feel Okay, so we have the world, we have the king of wands, and then we also have the seven of pentacles. The moment that I saw the world, the first thing that came to my mind is that, is that this person's getting rid of something. They're getting rid of something. What? I don't know. But it kind of looks like this person's getting rid of something, and it kind of looks like this person is now choosing to make you their main focus slash priority. So this person could very well be getting rid of, I don't know, um, the options that they have floating around them. They, they could very well be getting rid of, like, their dating, like, uh, profiles that they have. You know, that's definitely a possibility. Um, but they're definitely getting rid of something, but it's mainly because they want to make you their main focus slash priority. As far as this one over here is concerned, they already found the one. 
there is no need um, <clears throat> to entertain these other options. There is no need um, to keep these dating profiles up. There's no need for all of that. Um, so with that being said, it kind of looks like this person's pretty dead set on you and what they want with you. Now, <clears throat> you know what's interesting, Virgo, is that I feel like the more this person gets to know you, the more that they start to kind of find themselves feeling. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> okay, sorry. So it's like the more this person gets to know you, Virgo, the more they start to kind of realize that you're actually exceeding um, their expectations. You're actually exceeding this person's expectations. Like, I feel like this person had, like, this checklist, right, of, like, what they want within a man, what they want within a woman. And I kind of feel like right off the bat, you know, you already kind of checked all of their boxes off but it's like the more they get to know you the more they start to kind of realize like oh man like that wasn't a part of my list and it just so happens that virgo has that uh that i'm looking for within a person it just wasn't a part of my list like let's just say just just use this as an example let's just say that this person let's just say that this person um notices right that you're somebody who is very kind and is very generous. Maybe that wasn't a part of this person's list as far as like being with somebody who's very kind and very generous towards them. Um, you know, maybe, right? I just kind of feel like um, not only are you exceeding this person's expectations, but they're also kind of realizing that there's certain things about you that you possess that didn't necessarily make it to their list. And that's why I'm saying that um, you've basically exceeded this person's expectations. All right, what actions <clears throat> will Virgo take towards this person and moving forward? <clears throat> All right, so we do have, oh, there you go. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. We also have the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Swords. Virgo, listen, I do see you continuing to proceed forward um, within this relationship here between you and this person. I do. I definitely do. But with the Two of Swords coming out here, I kind of feel like this overall energy of like hesitancy coming from you in regards to this connection here and what you're doing here with this person will eventually start to kind of dissipate and fade away. I mean, you're going from the seven of wands to the two of swords. So that's kind of telling me that in time, right, you're going to find yourself feeling far more comfortable with the idea, right, of this person and this relationship being a part of your plan because we get it virgo this was not a part of your plan we get it you know you had you know your whole life planned out and you know love right now just wasn't a main focus and or priority we get it virgo but the fact that i do see you seeing this through and the fact that i do see you starting to kind of fall into this energy of feeling more comfortable with this person and this relationship being a part of your plan and a part of your reality and a part of your life um it's kind of making me feel like it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before things get serious. It's only a matter of time um, before your life starts to flourish um, into something that you really weren't honestly anticipating and or expecting to happen right now anyways. Because I do feel like your life, Virgo, it's definitely going to flourish in in ways that you definitely were not like anticipating or expecting to happen right now but you know it's obviously flourishing i would say in a good way it's obviously flourishing in a positive way um so with that being said virgo it, it kind of looks like you're you're choosing i would say to basically trust the process and just simply trust the fact that the universe has a better plan uh than you do all right, what actions will this person take towards Virgo or moving forward? Ooh, so we have the Nine of Swords, we got the Seven of Swords, and then we also have the King of Cups. So this person's going to find themselves developing a lot of emotions for you. The moment that this one over here realizes that they're starting to fall for you, the moment that this person realizes um, that they're starting to really catch feelings for you, um, I do kind of see uh, worry and fear really starting to kind of kick in. I do. I do. Now, is this going to influence this person to run in the opposite direction of you? Um, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, 
they're going to continue to proceed forward in this connection either which way, regardless of this fear that they might find themselves experiencing here um, on their end. I do kind of feel like this fear is mainly stemming from a place of not wanting to get hurt. This fear is mainly stemming from a place of them um, not wanting to get disappointed or lied or betrayed or deceived, you know. Um, it's mainly stemming from that place. But I feel like the more this person gets to know you, Virgo, the more this energy is going to start to basically dissipate. Um, so they may not fully trust you with their heart right now, but this is kind of telling me that eventually they will. So the more they get to know you, the more they kind of see, you know, what you're really about and how you really are as a person, this energy is going to go away. This energy is going to dissipate. They're dealing with a queen of pentacles for crying out loud. Queen of pentacles is somebody who's very big on commitment, but also very, very big on loyalty. Uh, so with that being said, I don't feel like this person has anything to worry about when it comes on to you, especially with the cards that are coming out here for you. I don't feel like this person has anything to worry about when it comes on to you, but I feel like time will reveal to them that they don't. Um, so yeah, Virgo, that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.